Hello everyone, I welcome you to my channel. Today I am going to show you the best way to create an e-commerce website in less than 50 minutes. So after watching this video, you will be able to create your very own online store just like this for free. And your customer will be able to view your products and then will be add them onto your cart and then use your unique promo code to get a discount. And then they can even make orders right from your website. And the best part is whatever I am going to show you on this video will be completely free. So you don't need to spend any money on web developers or theme or even templates. So the only place where you to spend some money is only on domain and hosting. So you'll need to host your e-commerce store in some place so that it can be accessed from any device from any part of the world. So that's the only time when you need to spend some money. So apart from that, everything that I'm going to show you on this video will be completely free. So are you ready? Are you ready to turn your dreams into reality? So let's get started. Now before I begin, I want to request you please to share this video with your friends. Videos like this really require significant amount of time and effort. So please do like this video, then subscribe. And also please do share with your friends. And also don't forget to comment on our comment sections that will really motivate me to make more such contents in future. So without any delay, let's start our video. So the first part is to launch our website. And for that, you'll need to decide what will be name of your website. Alright, so like for YouTube, it is YouTube.com. For Google, it is Google.com. For Facebook, it is Facebook.com. So, you know, something like that, you need to also decide what would be name of your e-commerce store. So, your customer will be using that name itself to visit your e-commerce store. So, you need to decide a unique name for your e-commerce store. So, in this video, I'm going to use something like Fashion Sphere for creating this demo e-commerce website. You should be creating something similar and you need to get that domain name. So something like fashionsphere.com or fashionsphere.in. So you know something like that. I have already made a little video about how to you know, get the domain and all the stuff. So you can follow that video as well. Right now you can just simply continue with this video itself. Once you, our e-commerce store gets ready. And that time only you can just simply follow that video. And you can set up your domain and everything. Alright. So you can do that later also. For now, let's continue with this video. And the next part is hosting. So here in this video, we'll be using Cloudways as a hosting provider. Cloudways is also a sponsor of this video. Show a big shout out to our sponsor Cloudways. So support like this make us possible to bring this valuable content to our viewers for free. So thanks a lot Cloudways for sponsoring this video. So you need to use the link provided in the description to land over official site of Cloudways. So you can start a free trial for three days and you will not need any credit card even so you need to just register so if you click on the start free trial you need to fill this form to register on cloudways so let's fill this form so give some first name last name then e-commerce and we'll be using zero to fifty dollars per month so that is what we have given and finally you'll be using our exclusive promo code geeky to avail 30% off for the first two months. So please use our exclusive promo code Geeky to get that discount. And then click on Agree to Terms and Condition of Cloudways and click on Start Free. So it's going to start logging in into our Cloudways dashboard. And once you are here, you need to verify your account. And after successfully verifying, you will be landed over to the dashboard of Cloudways. So I have already created a couple of servers. So now I'm going to create one more server. So for that, you need to click on View All Servers. And here, Already you can see we have created a couple of servers. So let's create another server. So click on add server and here you need to select what type of application that you'd like to create. And so let's select WordPress and give our application name. So let's give the application name as Fashion Sphere and also our server name also as Fashion Sphere. And you can see that our server they're going to use DigitalOcean, which is totally fine. So if you are starting off, you can use it DigitalOcean and by default of 2 GB of server size is selected. So you can you know, decrease this to 1 GB if you are starting off, then 1 GB is sufficient. So you can see 1 GB is for WordPress staging or low traffic websites. So if you are starting off, then your traffic will be less. So you can set the server size as 1 GB. And you can see the pricing also over here. So $14 per month and hourly it is this much sense 
all right so here you can select the location so you should be selecting ne your nearest locations so i am going to select bangalore so i am from india so i am going to select the nearest location which is bangalore you should be selecting your nearest location and after that you need to click on launch now so what it's going to do is it's going to start creating our fashion sphere server so you can see approximately it will take about seven minutes so by the time our server gets created let quickly see the pricing model of cloudwest and then we'll be also discussing why to use cloudwest so you can see we have a couple of plan one is premium and standard so you can go with standard for now and you can use a digital ocean if you want to use aws or google cloud so that also you can do but those are a like little costlier so you can see the pricing difference but if you use digital ocean it is relatively cheaper so for a digital ocean of 1 gb plan you can see you'll get 1 gb ram then processor will be one core and storage will be 25 gigabyte and bandwidth is 1 tb and you can see it will be about 11 dollar usd per month if you are going with the standard one and if you are going with the premium one then it will be about 14 usd per month and you can see the hourly rate also so hourly rate will be this much cent per hour so you can start with one gigabyte and then later on you can move to 2 gb 4 gb and all that now the question is why to use cloudways and not any other platform so unlike any other platform where you'll be getting shared hosting cloudways is completely different so if you scroll down to this comparison of cloudways with all other service providers so you can clearly see all the differences so cloudways has an excellent support i have personally used their support so it's been totally a very good experience i must say then about the flexibility so you can see multiple php version it's going to support dedicated environment then free trial without any credit card so i have already showed you how you can start a free trial without any credit card so after you know using it for three days you can you know take one of the subscription from here so you can start with something like one gb plan so that will be your monthly rate all right and later when you will see there is a huge surge on your traffic you can you know later move on to all these different plan you'll be also making a lot of money from your e-commerce store so you know spending this much money for better server won't be an issue for you you know once you start making money so for starting off you can start with this 14 dollar and next is this top cloud providers so as i have showed you digital ocean aws google cloud all are the top cloud providers so you can use any of the provider you can start with digital ocean as i have mentioned already then there is unlimited application installation 50 plus global data center so if you go here this data center you can see they have lot of data centers so you can use something nearer to us so i am from india so i am going to choose bangalore so that's my nearest location if you are from probably australia you can use sydney you know if you are from england or europe you can use london so all that you can do so they have you know lot of data centers then if i talk about performance so php 8.1 ready server cloudflare cdn optimized stack with advanced cache built-in wordpress and magneto cache pre-configure php fpn then mvme based server all of that and then comes the ease of use so i can mention enough like how beautiful their ui is everything is straightforward there so even if you're a beginner and you don't have you know a lot of experience on hosting and all so then also you'll be able to use their ui pretty efficiently i must say then the staging area and url account management dashboard very beautiful dashboard i must say easy dns management then built-in mysql manager and talking about automation so they have one click server cloning then one click server management and one click save update for wordpress and finally manage backups and seamless vertical scaling so if you compare with other service providers you can see most of the shared hosting don't have all these functionalities so if you are making any e-commerce website like what i am showing on this video so if you are creating some e-commerce website then i'll always recommend to use some cloud-based hosting provider like cloudwest so the thing what happens is if you're starting with some shared hosting and then you want to migrate that to to some cloud-based platform so that time what happens is during that migration since e-commerce store has lot of files lot of products you know lot of users database all that you have so during migration there could be some issues so it is always you know recommended like if you are creating an e-commerce store always host that into a some cloud-based platform like cloudways all right so that's why you're recommending cloudways in this video itself and if i talk about security so for security also you can see we have a one click 
free SSL installation, then dedicated firewalls, then regular OS and patch management, and finally server and app monitoring and auto healing servers. All right. So these are the key benefit of using a cloud-based platform. So do use our exclusive promo code Geeky to avail 30% off for the next two months. And now let's go back to our servers. And you can see that our Fashion Sphere server is properly created. So one gigabyte of server size is rightly allocated along with our IP address is also it is listing over here along with the server location which is Bangalore. So everything is properly set. So just simply click on our server to know about our master credentials. So you can see this is our IP address, user ID and password. So you can always click on this triple W and then you need to click on this fashion sphere. So it's going to show you all the access details. So this is our application URL. So if you click on this icon and already can see that our site is already up and running. So this is a default template and this is our domain right now. So you need to change this domain with fashion sphere or any other domain, whichever you want. So let's first create our entire e-commerce site and then you can change the domain later also. So now let's log into our WordPress. So to log in into our WordPress, you need to click on this icon under admin panel. So it's going to redirect to our WordPress login screen. So here you need to provide your username and password. So if you go back to your, you know, access details here, you can see we have a username and password. So you need to copy this and you need to paste that over here and you need to paste the password also over here. And then you need to click on login. So welcome to wordpress so this is the interface of your wordpress dashboard where you can build and control your entire website and now the next step is to add a theme so to add a theme you need to go to appearance and then you need to click on themes and here you need to click on add a new theme and you can see here we have a lot of themes already available right so in my previous videos again i have showed you about this astra theme so you can follow that entire video playlist to know about this astra theme and all so in this video i am going to use another theme called cadence so this theme is really first responsive and it has lot of built-in features so i am going to show you each of the things on this video itself so let's first install our theme cadence so our cadence theme is rightly installed click on activate and now if you just simply refresh your website you can see already it is properly installed cadence wp theme all right now let's go back to our dashboard and go to cadence and go to starter templates so here let's click on this install cadence starter templates and then you need to click on this use classic starter templates and there you go you can see we already have lot of templates available over here right so from here let's filter with uh, e-commerce and let's filter with free only so you can see we have again this many templates which are available for totally free and all are related to e-commerce right so from here let's say i'm selecting the last one which is this one and i'm going to choose the color as this blue and i'm going to change the font with something like this all right so after that just simply click on next so import full site click on next so it's going to install this couple of plugin called Caden Blocks and then WooCommerce. So you know everything is fine. Just simply click on finish and launch. So start import. So you can see it is rightly started activating all our plugin and going to install it. So let's wait for a couple of minutes and you can see success. So our template is successfully added to our theme. So if you just simply refresh your site, you can see that our entire template is successfully added onto our theme. So all products and everything is properly listed over here. So if you click on any of the product, it's going to show you first the product page. So you can give the quantity over here, then you can add the item to our cart. Then we have listed all the supported payment gateway. And then we have a description. Here is review and related products as well. So let's go back to our WordPress dashboard. Click on go to my pages and let's first change our logo. So go to our home page, so click on view. So here is our home page. So click on customize to change your logo. So click on site identity and then site title and logo control. And here you can see already one logo is added. So let's remove this logo and add our logo. So click on select logo and let's drag and drop one of our logos. We have created a fashion sphere logo. 
so I'll just simply drag and drop that logo and I'll go click on select so skip cropping and there you go you can see our logo is properly added over here next you can set your logo layout to logo title and tagline so here change the site title with uh, fashion sphere and give a tagline something like fashion begins here and then you can again scroll down and you can select one site icon so site icon basically means like this so our favicon icon also you can tell so currently it is showing wordpress we are going to change that with our own icon so click on the select icon and we're going to drag and drop one icon that we have already prepared so this favicon fashion sphere icon is what we are going to do drag and drop and click on select and skip cropping and there you go you can see our icon is rightly changed so let's click on publish to publish our both logo and our favicon icon so you can see it is properly updated so if you you know, switch to this tab and click on refresh you can see that our favicon icon is properly updated with our own icon and you can see our logo is also changed so in this way you can change your logo next let's see how you can add our products so let's go back to our wordpress dashboard and click on products over here and let's click on add a new product and here let's give a product name as women's cotton blend kurtas with dupattas and you can provide some product description so let's copy our product description you can change the product description with the paragraph tag and remove some unwanted space and now let's give a product image so click on select product image and switch to our pixel tab and search something like kurta for women and you can select one image from here let's select this one select product image you can also add a product gallery over here so click on this icon and go to pixel again and select one more image so just download the image and add to gallery so select this couple of image so control click so both the images selected click on add to gallery and you can see that both our images are rightly added to our gallery now let's create a new category so this time probably can create a category called kurta so add a new category and you can create one more category as women so click on add new category so this uh, product will get added under women and kurta next you can give product tag as well so let's give product tag as women first so click on add probably one more tag you can give like clothing so click on add one more tag like kurta click on add so all of our product tag are actually added so this one let's make it simple so we'll we'll keep it as a simple product and give a price so probably you can give price like regular price as 899 and you can give the sale price probably at 699 and you can give a short product description as well and then let's click on publish and now if we click on this link you can see that our women cotton blend kurta with dupattas is properly added over here so here is our pricing so regular price is 899 and our selling price is 699 so here it is set as a dollar so we are going to change that with the rupee and uh, if you scroll down you can see the categories over here along with our tag and here is our product description so all the things are properly mentioned over here and here is our review tab so user will be able to give you a review over here along with you can set the rating as well all right let's add a couple of more things so go to our wordpress dashboard and scroll down let's add inventory so if you click on inventory and you can you know check this track stock quantity for this product and you can give how much quantity you, it is available on your inventory so you can give something like five i'm giving you should be giving your own inventory number and after that if you click on update and if you refresh this you'll be able to see that five is in stock so once a customer buy this so let's say a customer is buying couple of quantity of this product so once that customer buys that it it going to automatically show you three in stock once it gets successfully shipped all right so let's create one more product so go to our wordpress dashboard and you can duplicate this entire thing so 
copy to a new draft so all the things whatever you have written will be just copied and it's going to make another duplicate of that so let's you know remove this copy and make it like number two so this time we are going to change this image also with some another image so go to pixel you should be giving your own image so search with like kurtas for women probably this time i'll select this click on download image so select the product image and this time what I'm going to do is under product data, I'm going to make it as a variable product. All right. So what is variable product? So a product like Kurta can have size like starting from small, medium, large, Excel, double Excel and all that. So those products are called variable product. Now how to set pricing for those products on our e-commerce. So that is what I'm going to show you. First is you need to set some attribute. So go to attribute. And here you need to give one name so let's give the name as size and slug also you can give size click on add attribute next you need to configure this term and give the name as small so s and slug also as s click on add a new size let's create one more as m for medium m add new size Let's create one more as L. So slug will be L. Add new size. So just keep on repeating. So Excel and double Excel. So add new size. So our attribute is properly created. Now let's go back to our variable product and go to attributes over here. Now you need to click on this drop down and you'll be able to see that activity that you have created is properly showing over here. So just simply click on size and here I need to select each of the values. So I'll start with small, large, medium, uh, medium, then double XL, XL, everything I'm going to select and I'm going to click on save attribute. So our attribute is properly created and save this size one. Let's create let's go to variation and create our pricing so click on generate variation click on ok over here and let's first add one base price so base price let's give something like triple nine and we can you know give a different pricing for each of the sizes so for l probably can give a, a pricing like a regular price is triple nine and you are you know giving this product sale to price 8.99 and same you can give for medium so probably 7.99 and for small you can give something like 6.99 and for excel you can give you know probably 8.99 and for double excel you can give like probably the regular one so like 9.98 so click on save changes and now if you just simply click on update and publish and if you just simply go and see this product you can see that our product image is properly added so here is our size option so you can select each of the sizes so if you select l you can see that proper selling price properly showing and change it to small so price is 699 for a small product and for double XL it is 998 so whatever we have set so that variation you can clearly see and you can update it like this way right so in this way you can easily create your products and if you scroll down you'll be able to see this related product so under related product one more product that we have created that women kurta is also showing under related product now you know let's change our currency from dollar to rupee so let's go back to our WordPress dashboard and go to WooCommerce and then settings and under general tab you need to just simply scroll down and into set your country or state. So let's you know, click on this drop down and I'm going to uh, select the country India. So you should be selecting your own country. So I'm going to select India Karnataka and I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to change this currency with again Indian rupee. So if you type Indian, you can see that rupee is showing. So I'll change that with instead of dollar, I'll change that with Indian rupee. So click on save changes. And now if we again go back to our product and if we just simply refresh this, you can see 
now our currency is changed with rupee instead of dollar so now user will be able to select one size from this drop down let's select medium then you can give the quantity so probably two quantity you want to order so click on add to cart it's going to show you over here that two quantity of this product is properly added on your cart so click on view cart and you can see under cart this product is rightly added over here so in detail i am going to show you how you can add coupon and all on the latter part of the video so keep watching this video and when you click on this proceed to checkout it's going to show you this checkout page so here you can set all the billing details first name last name company name your country your shipping address everything you can give and then you can place the order all right so all these pages this checkout then this cart everything it comes along with this template that we are using so if you go to shop and if you scroll down you can see already this couple of item what we have created is already showing over here you can also you know click on instead of default sorting you can give something like short by latest and you can see these are these are the two item latest we have added onto our shop so that is what it is showing so let's fast forward our video and add some more product onto our store so we have added now a lot of products so we have added a couple of shirts and then t-shirt and a couple of jeans and also one gown and shirt all right so if you go inside any of the product like women ethnic sari so here also you can see we have first a regular price then the discounted price and five quantity of sari is available in our stock and you can add a product to cart all right and if you scroll down you can see related product as well so now before showing related product you might also want to show a couple of your own recommendations so how to do that so for that you need to go to your product page first you need to open your product so i'll open this product and here i'll scroll down and i'll go to this linked products so under linked product here you need to give your product name so i'm going to give the product name as shari so i'm going to you know link this product women ethnic shari as a linked product under this product so i'll click on update and now if i refresh this you'll be able to see that under the same product if i scroll down you can see the, we have also added a recommendation like you may also like this sari as well so if you have more products you can also do the same process over again so you need to just simply go to link product and it will again search over here and you can link more product under this same product so user will be able to not only add this product on your cart user will be also able to you know add product from this recommendation as well all right now you know let's take care of the login part so go to account and click on my account so currently we are sign in using our own account so if i log out you can see we have a login screen only we don't have any sign in screen so there's basically no option for a customer to register or to sign up to create any account on our website for now so let's see how we can add a sign up option on our website so for that you need to first simply go to your wordpress dashboard and then you need to go to plugins and then go to add new plugin and search over here login slash sign up so that's going to show you this login sign up pop up so just you know simply install this plugin and you can see that our plugin is successfully installed so let's activate our plugin and after that if you go to your account and if you just simply refresh this and then when you click on log out you can see we have both login and sign up page over here and this is how it's going to look to all of our customer when they're going to sign in so here user need to provide their email id so let's give one email id like example at the red gmail.com and give the first name so let's give the first name as rahul and last name probably dravid and you can give some password confirm that password accept the terms and condition and sign up so registration is successful and we are successfully logged in as rahul dravid as a user so if you log out again and under login if you give that same email id and password so example at the red gmail.com 
and then the password then remember me and sign in so you can see logging is successful again we have successfully logged in so in this way you can easily create a login and sign up page and now you can go back to your dashboard and go to WooCommerce settings and go to accounts and privacy and here what we can do is we can you know check this allow customer to log in into an existing account during checkout and you can uncheck this allow customer to place order without without an account so if a customer is not having any account on our website in that case we are restricting that customer to order our product so only when a customer are having any account then only he will be able to order our item all right so that's why we are unchecking this and we are only checking this second option so scroll down and click on save changes now only registered user will be able to order our products now you know let's go back to our home screen and modify our entire home screen so just simply go to our home screen and click on edit page over here so you are going to use gutenberg to edit our page so in my previous videos i have showed you how you can you know edit using elementor so this time i am going to use gutenberg so both these two are the very popular tool to edit your web page so now let's change this image so select this layer and click on this icon so that we have a proper selection of our entire row so if you expand this you can see under row layout we have a couple of sections so this is our first section where we have a sample text and this is our second section where we have an image so if you select a row layout and go to style tag you can see we have this image slider so all these four images it is added so you can see slider item count four so all these four images are added over here so let's click on edit image and let's change this image so go to pixel tab and search with something like fashion and i'm going to change our image slider image you should be giving your own images i'm just showing it as a demo over here so let's select this one click on download image and add that into our gallery so select so our image is rightly changed with this one let's select the second one i'm going to change with some different image this time so probably i'll select this one you can see it is rightly changed so let's change the third image this time let's select this one select so our third image is changed let's change the fourth image also let's select this one so i'll select the image and there you go so we have now all the four different images now so if you click on update and refresh our site you can see that now all these four images are properly added as our image slider so let's change this text over here so we'll go back to our edit page and we'll select this and we are going to change this text with something like style deliver to your doorstep and let's change this color to white so select this and go to color and make it white so you know click on update and now if you just simply refresh this you can see style delivered to our doorstep is properly updated our tagline so let's scroll down and this looks fine so here we have this category so t-shirt mugs and all that so let's uh, customize this as per our requirement so here so i'll change this uh, t-shirt image first so I'll go to style and I'll change this image with uh, click on edit image and I'll change this image with something like this t-shirt and I'll change this mugs with uh, probably jeans and I'm going to also change this image with uh, our own image so let's select this one and hats I'll change with probably uh, you know shirts so I'll change the image also with probably this one and for badges we'll change this with kurtas and I'll change this image and I'll change this with uh, shirts maybe change this image as well and this one i'll make gowns and i'll change this image as well and there you go 
I'll change the font also. I'll make it white so that we have a better visibility for each of this item. Let's do that for saris and for kurtas. So I'm just showing how you can customize this. All right. So you should be doing as per your requirement. I'm just showing how you can do that. But uh, uh, you should be doing as per your requirement. All right. So now if I simply refresh this, you can see, I you know each of the categories that is t-shirt jeans saris kurta shorts gowns everything is properly showing now next what we need to do is on clicking each of these categories it should be showing a proper list of uh, all these categories so if someone is selecting kurtas so it should be selecting you now a list of all kurtas all right so how to do that so for that let's go back to our this gutenberg editing page and click on each of the sections so let's select this first section and here if you scroll down we have a overlay link so here you need to paste that t-shirt category link so you know if you go back to your shop we have a t-shirt over here so let's open that t-shirt and you know uh, from this category let's open this t-shirt so this category URL is what we need to paste over here so paste that over here update and now if you you know again go to your home page and if you click on this t-shirt it's going to redirect to this t-shirt category and let's do for all the other categories as well so this is for shirt and finally our gown so now if you just simply refresh your home screen and if you select each of these items so if you're selecting kurta it's going to show you and all the kurta product that you are having on your site so it's going to show you a list of all that then if you are selecting probably gowns it's going to so it's going to show you a list of all the gowns if you're selecting it for saris so it's going to show you a list of all saris and all that so here you can see this couple of images for the shirt and the sari it's you know cutting in middle right so how to fix that so go back to your this home screen and you know click on the saris and here go to style and under this image so let's make this top to zero and click on update and if you go to your home screen you can see that it is properly showing now so let's do that same for short as well so select this sort go to style and under this image let's make this top to zero click on update and if you refresh this you can see it is properly showing now all right so in this way you can you know add all the links for all the, your categories next we have white choosers if you want to keep this you can keep this or else if you just simply want to remove this you can just simply select this section this entire section that is this you know this row layout and then you can click on this triple dot and then you can just simply delete this so it's going to get deleted right so let's control z so here is our featured products let's delete this one so what our clients say about so this testimonial section also if you you know want to edit this rating so probably you have got a rating 4.9 out of 5 so you can you know set that as well so all this customization you can do and finally we have this instagram link so you should be giving your own instagram link over here and you can give your own images so let's replace this image with our own image so we'll click on this pencil icon and let's remove all these images and we'll be giving our own images so just simply go to add to gallery and from media pixel you can pick all of our images so you should be you know selecting your own images from instagram and you should be listing that so that will have you know a good presentation of your instagram account here as well so just add add to gallery update gallery and you can see list of all the images are rightly shown over here so you can change this carousel type to all these different gallery type and all so you can change this to you know, all these different types so this is totally your wish so i'm just showing how you can do that all right so you know let's keep uh, something like this and click on update and now if you go to your home page and if you just simply refresh this so you can see we have a featured product and then we have what our clients say we have updated the rating as well and we finally have our instagram 
image is also added over here right yeah so you know this is pretty much about our home page so first we have image slider so then is if you scroll down we have all the categories and then by choosers and we have then our featured product so if you click any of the products so that's going to you know show you our product page and after that we have what our clients say about the testimonial part and then we have the Instagram images part all right so now that's pretty much about home page now let's see how it will look on our phone so just simply right click and go to inspect and let's change this uh, you know as a probably phone so I'll make it pixel 7 so on our phone it's going to look something like this so you can see we have a, again image carousel over here and then we have all the different perks and then we have the categories so you can click each of the categories from here and then we have our product listing so some featured product will be listing over here and then we have the testimonial part and then we have all the you know uh, instagram gallery that we have added over here right so you know let's see how it will look uh, each of the product so if you select each of the product like probably if you select this one so each product will show like this so we have this gallery over here you can change it from here then we have this pricing then add to cart and the description all right and finally related product as well so if you click on add to cart can see one product has been added so click on view cart so this is our cart summary you can see and this is how it's going to look on our phone right so that's why you have used this theme so this this theme is totally responsive so you don't need to do anything you know especially for phone so if you click on this hamburger icon you can see all the different menus over here you can switch to each of the menu if you so if you click on shop so it's going to redirect to the shop screen page so you can see this is how it's going to look our shop screen on our phone and if you switch back to probably tab so if you click on like safari surface duo so it's going to look like this on a tab all right so if you go to home so this is how it's going to look on our home screen right and if you want to modify anything with respect to your this phone or a tab so in that case you need to again switch to this gutenberg page and then you need to click on this icon and then you need to switch to tablet or you know switch to mobile so with respect to that you can edit again anything if you want to edit so you need to select each of the thing and then you can edit so all these changes will be with respect to your phone if you do some editing with respect to tablet so switch to tablet and you can change anything over here so that will going to be changed with respect to tablet all right now you know next thing that i'm going to talk about is uh, we have a cart icon over here but if you go to cart you can see we have a couple of item added already on our cart but it is not showing any number over here so normally if you have like two item added on your card it should be showing right after your card a number like two right so that is currently not showing how to add that so for that you need to again click on this customize and right right after this you know cart icon we have a pencil icon so just simply click on that pencil icon for this cart so we'll see this header cart over here so here if you enable the show item a uh, total indicator so it's going to show you the number of items you have added on the card right after this you know icon you can see it is currently showing three so let's you know click on publish and if you just simply refresh your home screen you can see that number three that indicator is properly showing over here so if you go to card you can see this couple of item of this kurta and then this sari so combining like three item we have added so that is what it is showing three so that's how you enable card number now you know let's talk about how to add the coupon code so like here you can see we have a link called click here to enter your coupon code so if you add some coupon code here it should be giving you some discount right now we haven't set any coupon code so let's see how you can set some coupon code so to set coupon code let's you know jump over to our dashboard and then go to marketing and here you'll be able to see coupons over here so let's click on coupons so create your first coupon 
So let's give a unique coupon name. So like we have a coupon code Geeky for Cloudways to get that 30% off for the first two months, you can you know give something like same code Geeky and you can give some certain amount of percentage discount. So you know you need to switch this percentage discount and you can give you know some some discount like 30 and you can give coupon expiry validation date also so let's give something uh like october 2024 and just click on publish so if someone is using geeky as a coupon code so that coupon code will get recognized and a 30 percent discount will get applicable so let's open our site in an incognito mode and let's log in with uh, Rahul Dravid, that user that we have created. So just simply give that, you know, user credentials and login as Rahul Dravid. So login successful. So we are currently logged in as Rahul Dravid. And now if we go to shop and let's add a couple of items. So select a size and click on add to cart, view cart. And here, if you give that same uh, coupon code, which is geeky, and click on apply coupon code so you can see that you know 30 percent off that is you know from this price we have an additional discount of 30 percent making it 559 you know as our final price so in this way you can easily add coupon code and you can share this coupon code with your customers next i'm going to talk about how to set up your payments so for that just simply go to your wordpress dashboard and then go to commerce and then settings and then switch on to this payment tab and here you need to enable this cash on delivery so you can see our cash on delivery is like enabled now let's go to manage and set up our cash on delivery so enable cash on delivery so our title will be cash on delivery if you want to give some description that you can give over here and if you want to give some instructions so that also you can do so accept COD if the order is virtual, totally fine, just simply click on save changes and our cash on delivery is rightly enabled now. And now if you go to your, maybe your product page, so click on a product, choose a size, add to cart, then view cart. So we have these many products that are added on our cart. So let's add a coupon code, geeky, click on apply coupon. So 30% discount is applied. Let's click on proceed to checkout. And here under billing details, you need to fill all the things. And here if you scroll down, you can see we have this cash on delivery that is rightly added over here. So pay with cash upon delivery. So for now, you can keep cash on delivery over here. And if you want to use some online mode of payment, that also you can do. We have a lot of payment gateways. So a popular one is this Razor Pay or you can also use Instamojo. So if you need a detailed video about how to set up payments and all, so please do mention that on our comment sessions. I'll be happy to make a detailed video about that. Unnecessarily, I don't want to, you know, make all that set up on this video and make this video, you know, too much long. So for now, I'll be keeping only cash on delivery and I'm going to, you know, place one order. So let's, you know, give some name like v.coli give some address demo address city delhi state also delhi give some pin code give some phone number give some email address and then click on place order so you can see thank you your order has been received so these are all items we have ordered and our payment method is cash on delivery and this is our discount and this is our final MRP and this is our billing address. So let's you know create one more order. So we have this user. So we have created this Rahul Dravid user. So let's you know if we go to cart we have we have added already one item and here is our coupon code geeky. So we have got a 30% discount. So let's place this order as well. So click on proceed checkout and give some details over here so let's give again some demo address city maybe delhi and change this to delhi also and give some pin code and give some phone number and just simply click on place order so thank you your order has been received so we have successfully created order for our shirt so cash on delivery and this is our final mrp 
So now if you minimize this and let's go to our WordPress dashboard and under WooCommerce, you can, we'll be able to see orders over here. So let's click on orders to process our order. So you can see a couple of order has been directly placed. Under total, you can see the final MRP. And if you click on each of the products, so let's click on this product. So you can see the order details over here. So this is the item which is ordered by this user and here is the cost after getting the discount. This is our final MRP. So you can, you know, set the status to, you know, maybe completed once it get delivered or if you see that you, you won't be able to, you know, deliver this product, you can make this cancel or you can refund this also. Everything you can do from this status drop down. All right. So in this way, you can easily manage order from this WooCommerce order section. And if a customer wants to see his order, so you can go to account and click on my account. So here we have all these different menus. So on clicking order, it's going to show you that order that he has placed. So status is processing. So on clicking this view, you will be able to see this order over here. So if you are changing uh, the status from processing to probably on hold and click on update, so that is what it's going to reflect to your customer as well. So if you refresh this, you'll be able to see that this order is currently on hold. So whatever you are doing over here, so that so that same thing going to be reflect to your customer as well. All right. So in this way, you can manage your order. I have just showed you how, how to place one demo purchase and how to process order under this WooCommerce order section. All right. So this is how you can customize your entire e-commerce website. So now that we have successfully completed making our e-commerce website, but we are not done yet. I'm also going to show you how you can manage orders of your this e-commerce website right from your phone. So for that, let's go to our WordPress dashboard and again go to e-commerce and scroll down and click on set up my store. So I'm just starting my business. Click on continue give your store name fashion sphere give all the details click on continue and you can uncheck this you know unnecessary plugin for now and click on continue and once our account get created on woocommerce then you need to scroll down and then you need to click on this get the free e-commerce mobile app so that's going to show you a barcode so you need to scan this barcode and then you need to download this woocommerce app on your android or iphone let's open our woocommerce app Click on next, click on next, click on next and login. So let's give our site ID. So click on continue. Let's give our username and password and click on continue. So you can see we are successfully logged into our account and here you can see all orders that are placed. So if you click on each of the order, you can see the quantity. So under inventory, you can see the current stock quantity. So three is left now. So all the details you can see on this WooCommerce app. So if you go to our product tab, you can see all these different products are rightly there and go to our orders tab and you can see this couple of orders are placed. So if you click on one of the order, you can see these are all orders. So these are the final MRP, you can collect payment once you get this cash on delivery. So all the details you can see right on your phone itself. All right. So that's how you can create an e-commerce store without spending a lot of money. So only thing we are going to spend some money is only on this hosting and domain. So for hosting, as I have told you, you can use Cloudways. It is really cheap if you are starting off and when you have a lot of traffic on your website, you can always upgrade to Cloudways Autonomous. So in Cloudways Autonomous, what's happen is when there is a huge surge of traffic on your website. So let's say you are giving some offer on your e-commerce store on probably Black Friday sale or some Diwali sale or you are giving some random sale. So that time you are seeing there is a huge surge on your you know, website. So that time what Cloudways Autonomous feature will help you to do is so it's going to automatically scale all these servers as per you know your website's need and it's going to handle that you know that traffic that your websites are having so you don't need to you know manually adjust all the servers or anything as everything is going to handle automatically by uh, cloudways autonomous system so only thing that you worry about only this business all right so please do use our exclusive promo code geeky to avail 30 percent off for the first two months so that's pretty much all about this video. Hope these videos are really helping you. If these videos are really helping you, then please do like, share and subscribe. That really motivate me to make more such videos. And don't forget to share this video with your friends. 
if I see these videos are getting good amount of views then surely I am going to make more and more videos on WordPress. So please do share with your friends and if you are having any queries you can always comment in your comment sessions. I will try my best to help you. So that is basically all about this video. Thank you very much for watching this video and God bless you all.